market slipping. Well, at least for the single family condo markets, but for how long? The lucky buyers who are buying this fall are enjoying a market that we haven't seen for quite some time. But like I just said, the question is for how long this is going to last because interest rates have gone down significantly and we are seeing increased activity in under agreements. These rate cuts really couldn't come at a better time. If you're wanting to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you are in the right place. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb and I'm a recovering investment banker, turned real estate agent and investor that has sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any real estate questions, then know I'm here to help. And thinking about buying a house, then find out how you could save thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars by using the purchase power plan instead of paying the traditional commission of two and a half to three percent when buying a house. You owe it to yourself to find out more and save a truckload of money. Let's start with the single families. In September of 2024, we saw 3,053 single family homes sell for an average sales price of $777,000. With some slow to report sales last month, actually you doubt a sales increase. As of now, our data shows that sales levels are down three and a half percent, but I expect this to change as some stragglers fly some additional listings sitting around that should have been closed out in September. The 3,053 single families homes that sold in September is three and a half percent less than the same time last year when we sold 3,162 units. We now have seen sales levels down four out of the last nine months. I know I've said this in the past, but again, this is what I expected for this year. Some months we'd be ahead and then other months we'd be behind. Adding in this month's sales levels, the year-to-date sales levels increases have slipped to now 1.6% higher as we've now sold 27,749 units compared to the 27,306 units at this point in 2023. When I say the market is slipping, this is what I mean. September was our lowest year-over-year -year price increase that we've seen so far. In September, we recorded a 4.4% year-over-year increase in single-family property values. Last month, I said that we uh, may need to start like looking for that caution flag for that single family market. It seems that we may need to start looking for it even harder. With nine months down, home prices in Massachusetts are up 7.1% year over year. It's been a great year in the single family market, but the pullbacks continue. We were at an 8.8% year over year appreciation rate four months ago, 8.1%, three months ago, 7.8% increase, two months ago, 7.4% last month, and now 7.1% this month. Like I said, the market's slipping. Home prices aren't going to be down for the year, so we can just take that one off the table. Now under the yearly sales comparison levels, our sales levels of 3,053 units put us right in the middle of the sales activity that we saw in September of 2010 and September of 2011. As we've said many times before, sales levels aren't great, but sales levels and housing prices are not correlated. The sales side has a lifeline being thrown to them with these decreasing interest rates. And this lifetime and the real estate market will most likely help bail out the overall economy. As sales go up, then that will put more pressure on inventory levels, which will ultimately lead to higher pricing. Buyers, I'm just trying to prepare you. So four months out of the last nine months of year over year sales declines doesn't sound great, but when you put it in perspective of the last three years, it's really not that bad. Because before January, we had 30 consecutive months of year over year sales decline. So sales declines of four out of the last nine months is really an improvement. And now that is 51 consecutive months of year over year home price increases. I don't see this trend ending anytime soon. But as I've already mentioned, we continue to see the rate of home price increases tapering off. And this makes sense with the higher inventory levels. But will this continue is the big question. Will this turn bleak and be a bit of darkness before the sun rises? And by sun rising, I mean interest rates falling and bailing out pretty much every asset class in the marketplace. But time's gonna tell. But I don't believe it's likely that this will dip into negative territory and be making some pretty strong bets that we will at least hit five consecutive years or 16 months of pricing gains. But it's all about inventory levels. So let's take a look at inventory. And look at that, ending the month with 5,790 single family homes on the market, year over year inventory levels are up 27.1%. But the big takeaway is that these inventory levels are four year high and were only 260 units so or 3.4% higher than the inventory levels in September of 2020. A lot has happened in a month with the year over year inventory comparison. We started the year with the second lowest inventory levels in history and are now sitting at a four year high. Historically speaking, still very, very low, but there is no hidden in increasing inventory levels. We now have 1,319 more single family homes on the market when compared to the end of September of 2024 than we did at the end of September 2023, 398 more houses on the market than compared to September of 2022. 
New listings were up by a considerable amount year over year. We listed 5,150 single family homes in Massachusetts and in September of 2024. This was an 18% increase when compared to September of 2023. Price reductions were up year over year as well. In September of 2024, we saw 47.3% increase in price reductions throughout the entire state of Massachusetts. There were 542 single family homes that did a price reduction. Quick recap. So sales of the single family market were down by 6.2%, while inventory was up by 27.1%. The number of new listings were up by 18% compared to last year's numbers, where we saw a 47% increase in price reductions for September of 2024. Prices continue to follow the yearly trend. This is the part of the year where I need to get really repetitive because this is when some idiot guru starts screaming about how prices are falling. So here I go again, saying it again, do not, I repeat, do not, do not let any of those headlines that say housing prices are down get in the way of, well, they're a really bad story that they're just trying to twist. Because at the end of the day, the only stat that matters is year over year data, not month over month data. The $777,000 average sales price means that home prices in Massachusetts are up by 4.4% year over year and 7.1% year to date. We now have the condo market and multifamily market up next. But first, I choose you can do me a huge favor as it just helps play with the YouTube algorithm. You hit that like button right down there. It just makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. We saw 1,266 condos close in Massachusetts for the month of September with an average sales price of $655,000. Let's start with the sales data. Sales levels were down in the condo market as well. Sales levels were down by 10.9% year over year. The 1,266 condos sold in Massachusetts for the month of September was compared to the 1,421 units that sold in September of 2023. Year to date, we've closed 12,345 condos compared to the 12,817 in the first nine months of 2023. We've seen year over year sales declines for six out of the last nine months in the condo market. Kind of the same story as the single family market. We went 25 months of year over year sales decline. So it's kind of a good thing that we're getting a year over year positive reading every once in a while. More of what we've become accustomed to. The 1,266 sales felt pretty much right in line in the sales levels that we saw in September of 2011. Inventory levels also eked out a four year high. The 3,187 condos on the market in Massachusetts is 25.7% higher than the inventory levels of September of 2023 and 21 units above the September of 2021 inventory levels. Something that I thought was kind of interesting is that the condo market inventory levels have been more of a consistent increase. The single family inventory gains have just been more of an exponential increase. This month, we just barely broke out of the 2021 tread line that we've been stuck in for quite some time. To close out the month, we had 693 condos on the market compared to this time in 2023, 399 more compared to 2022, and 166 more than 2021. The amount of new listings were up with 2,592 new condo listings hitting the market. The 388 additional new listings when compared to September of 2023 represents a 17.6% increase in new listing activity in Massachusetts for the month of September. Meanwhile, we saw an increase in the amount of condos that saw price reductions in Massachusetts as there were 256 price adjustments. This is 121 units or 90.3% more than what compared to September of 2023. As a year-over-year -year comparison, sales were down 10.9%. New listings were up by 17.6% when compared to 2023. Meanwhile, inventory was up by 25.7% with a number of price reductions up by 90% year-over-year. It's a hack shirt for prices. Three months of year-over-year -year declines in pricing. But I still contend that July gets a little asterisk next to its data. The average sales price of $655,000 was 1.8% lower than the average sales price of September 2023, when it was $667,000. This is the first back-to-back to back year-over-year -back -year price decline since December of 2020. The first quarter of the year was definitely more condo condo owners than the third quarter of 2024. Year to date, condo prices in Massachusetts are up by 2%. This number was 4.6% in June, 2.9% in July, 2.4% in August. The trend line isn't a great one for condo owners in Massachusetts. We're teetering on the line where one really bad month could sink out our yearly data, but I really don't think that's going to happen. It's still too close to call on whether they will see downward pricing, but I'm feeling rather confident in the condo market's going to end in the positive territory. Barely. And now for my very quick and shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then reach out today. It would be an honor to help and guide you through the process. Now into the multifamily market. Another good fall from the multifamily market. 
In September of 2024, we saw 435 multifamily units sell for an average sales price of $865,000 to 446 units sold, was four units or a 0.9% decrease in the year-over-year -year sales levels for September. This means that year-over-year -year sales levels are now up by 5.9%. The 446 units sold puts us on par with last year. The next year that was close to our sales levels of September 2024 would be September of 2011 and 12 when we sold 463 and 435 multifamily properties respectively. The decreasing interest rates are going to help with the investor market a lot. Inventory continues to grow in the multifamily market. There are currently 871 multifamily properties on the market, which means that inventory levels are up by 26 units or 3.1% year over year. The amount of additional inventory continues to be fairly consistent in the multifamily market. We had 57 more multifamily homes on the market than when compared to the end of September of 2023. Put it in perspective, this summer was 60 additional units when we did last month's report. Meanwhile, we listed 8% more multifamily properties than we did in 2023. We listed 824 multifamily homes in September of 2024, which is compared to the 763 multifamily homes in September of 2023. Year over year, the $865,000 was 3.6% higher than the sales levels were recorded in September of 2023. This wasn't the lowest year over year appreciation rate for the 2024, but it was pretty darn close to it. The 3.5% doesn't look that great, but I'm really not concerned with the multifamily market in any way, shape, or form. Multifamily properties pricing is now 12.2% for the first nine months of 2024. It slipped back a little bit, but like I said, no worries here. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, it's Jeff Jeff. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a house in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out a little bit more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, and I truly appreciate you passing along my contact information. You can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.